Friday, December 7th, marks 71 years since the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. Recently, the Press Enterprise sat down with one of the survivors, John Ballard, who shared his story of that fateful day. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you've ever been to Pearl Harbor or the Hawaiian Islands, and, uh, and around uh, 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, if you uh, uh, can imagine how beautiful the, uh, the sky is, uh, got a few clouds and the sun is out there, and then all of a sudden, you, uh, I'm looking out there toward Fort Island, and uh, uh, the Japs are uh, bombing the the planes and the um, the, uh, the hangars on Fort Island, and the, I can see the smoke from the Arizona uh, going up. Uh, after she's been hit on Battleship Row. Um, and then uh, another plane hits the Curtis that I was on, and uh, the bomb goes down in uh, at, uh, five decks into the, uh, into the um, uh, sleeping compartment, and uh, those people have just come back from Liberty. Some of them are getting up and that bomb explodes in there. We lost about 25 dead. It was, it was terrible. And then uh, another, uh, uh, after that, I don't know how long, uh, a plane hits, the, um, hits one of the cranes. Um, there was a, apparently a suicide um, uh, action. And, um, uh, and that uh, sets a fire off in one of the uh, uh, powder rooms below the five-inch guns, and uh, there's uh, some dead uh, people in there uh, burned to a crisp. We had to take them out uh, piece by piece. Uh, you know, I, I hadn't, I, uh, I, I didn't, uh, I was prepared for something like that. I had just come. Uh, off from a ranch in the sand hills of Nebraska, and uh, uh, so I wasn't prepared for that kind of uh, gory stuff. I, um, I might say something that is connected in with this. Uh, uh, about three weeks before, we took a, a, a load of uh, civilian workers and a, uh, and a lot of uh, construction supplies to Wake Island. And we, uh, uh, they didn't have a harbor there, so we had to unload onto a, a lighter. And uh, we were there seven days uh, before the weather calmed down enough so that uh, a lighter could be brought out and, and put next to the ship so we could unload uh, all the people and the, and the supplies. Then, of course, as you know, it wasn't long after that that uh, that the Japs conquered Wake Island and all those people uh, were taken to Pan uh, to, to put, be put in, the, uh, uh, in their, uh, uh, their POW prisons. Uh, my, uh, I might say that uh, at this time uh, I had an older brother that was in China on a, on a, a, a a river boat, a gunboat, on the Yangtze River, and he had his wife over there, and uh, so they 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 got out of there and went to Manila, and they uh, scuttled the the boat in in Manila Harbor, and went to Corregidor, and that's where they were taken prisoner, and he was he was on the. Uh, the death march, the Bataan death march, and his wife had to go the other way uh, uh, to get home back to the U.S. They went west out of, uh, out of China. John Ballard and another Pearl Harbor survivor will speak at a remembrance program on Friday at the March Field Air Museum. For photographer Kurt Miller, I'm Jackie West for the Press Enterprise and PE.com.